Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial for Bella Swan's wedding makeup from Breaking Dawn. I went to see Breaking Dawn last night and I absolutely loved it. I think Bella looked stunning in the wedding scene, I think she looked absolutely amazing and actually I had kind of thought about doing a tutorial for this look before and once I actually went to see the film I thought the makeup looked a little bit different, like in the trailer I feel like it looked a little bit more grey somehow but when you actually saw the full scene you could see it was kind of like a lot of warm browns as well. Yeah, so it's just a beautiful kind of warm brown smoky eye with very very flawless skin a tiny tiny hint of a flush on the cheeks and a little bit of a natural kind of peachy pink gloss on the lips so it's really really easy to do very very classic makeup look great for every day or if you're looking for wedding makeup it would also work really well if you don't want anything too overpowering either so if you want to see how I did this look then keep watching Okay, so I'm going to start on the face and I'm going to begin by using Urban Decay's Complexion Primer Potion in Brightening just to even out um, any imperfections you have in your skin and to help the foundation stay on for a little bit longer. So I'm just going to kind of smooth this onto my skin and concentrate on um, the chin and the nose, anywhere where kind of foundation has an issue kind of staying on the skin as well. And then I'm going to be using my all-time favourite foundation, which is Chanel's Vita Lumiere Aqua. And this foundation is absolutely perfect for this look because it's very, very light. It gives you a nice amount of coverage, but it doesn't look like you're wearing much foundation. And it doesn't feel like you're wearing much foundation. So I'm using the shade B20. And I'm going to apply this using just a regular foundation brush. Okay, so once I've applied that, I'm going to use a little bit of concealer, and I'm going to be using different concealers for different things. For any blemishes on my face, I'm going to be using my Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Concealer, which is in the shade Medium 3, which seems quite dark, but actually their shades come up quite light. And then for around my eyes, I'm going to be using my new CID, um, what's it called, Eye Conceal, Brush On Fluid Concealer, which is great for brightening. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of this under my eyes and then just blend it in using my finger, kind of tapping it into the skin. And then I'm just going to use a little bit of my Collection 2000 concealer. I'm going to pop it on the back of my hand and then just use my finger to place it on anywhere that needs a little bit of extra coverage. And then I'm just going to use my foundation brush just to blend that in. Bella doesn't really have any kind of blush or bronzer or highlighter on. She's just very, very natural. I'm going to use a tiny, tiny bit of cheek stain just to add a little bit of colour to the cheeks, but barely anything at all. And this is Soap and Glory's Cheek Mate, which is a gel formula. And I'm actually going to apply this using a foundation brush as well because I just don't really like applying stains with my fingers. I find it's a little bit messy. It stains your fingers, kind of annoying. Anyway, so I'm going to use a tiny, tiny, tiny dot of that and then just apply this to your cheeks and once it's on the skin you want to start blending it very very quickly as well because you don't want it to stay in kind of in the wrong place yeah so that's it for the complexion literally very very simple very very natural with just a tiny tiny hint of colour on the cheeks next for the eyes I'm going to start by using a primer as well I'm going to be using NARS's Pro Prime Smudge Proof eyeshadow base and I've actually never used this before as you can tell this is a sample size that I was given um, so I'm going to try this and I'll let you know how I get on with this I've heard very very mixed reviews about it so I'm, again I'm going to put a little bit of that on the back of my hand like so and then just apply it to my eyelids using my ring finger Okay, so once I've done that, I'm going to start applying the eyeshadow, and I'm actually going to be using an eyeshadow quad, which is from New CID, and it is their eyeshadow quad in Chocomocha. And I think this is absolutely perfect for the look, because in the initial trailer of Bella's kind of makeup, you saw her makeup in the trailer, I thought it looked very, very grey, kind of like almost like a smoky eye, but in the actual film it seems a lot more brown, and kind of like warm brown tones, with a little bit of kind of smoky effect along the lash line and no eyeliner so I thought this was absolutely perfect with the more kind of ready toned brown shimmery shade and then you've got a slightly more taupey grey shade and the pale matte highlighter as well with the dark dark this is almost black um, matte eyeshadow so I'm going to be using all of these I'm going to zoom in so you can see a little better I'm going to start by applying the 
almost red toned eyeshadow all over the lid. And this might look quite dramatic at first, but we're actually going to layer it up with lighter colours on top just to kind of tone it down. But this will give that kind of warm brown effect. Once I've done that, using the same brush, I'm just going to take the light show Shopee Tade? The Topi shade, um, and then apply that over the top of that warmer colour just to kind of tone it down. I'm going to take a little bit of the matte just off white there and I'm going to be using a angled eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to apply a little bit of this onto the brow bone just underneath the eyebrow just to highlight. Once I've done that I'm just going to take a blending brush, this is the MAC 217 and using that same just off white colour I'm just going to blend that into the browns just to kind of make that a little bit softer and just take it over the top of where you've gone past the crease there just to kind of blend those in and then I'm just going to take a tiny bit all the way over the lid as well just to um, not get rid of the shimmer but just to make it a little bit more subtle and finally for the eyeshadow, I am going to apply the darkest, almost black, matte brown shade just to the lash line and I'm using a small angled brush for this. Make sure you tap off any excess because you don't want to get it all over your face. And I'm just going to start building up the colour in a kind of thin line just like you would with eyeliner. And then I'm also going to take a little bit of that underneath the eye as well and just along the lash line. I'm just going to take a small pencil brush like this and I'm going to start to kind of blend that darker colour out a little bit just into those colours that we've already put onto the lid. And you can add a little bit more as well. just to create more of that smoky effect. And we're almost done. The last thing I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of nude eyeliner to the waterline, um, just to kind of brighten up the eyes a little bit, but also because it seemed like she had a very kind of pale color in her waterline, either that or she doesn't have any kind of redness in her waterline, which I do. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that and not too much so that it kind of blanks it out, just enough to kind of brighten the eyes a little bit, but almost kind of not look like it's there. Okay, I'm just going to curl my eyelashes using my Urban Decay Revolution eyelash curler, which is great. So I'm just going to do that and then I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara. I'm going to be using Armani Eyes to Kill Mascara, which is absolutely fantastic because it's very volumizing but not clumpy at all. It's not overly lengthening either, it just leaves you with very kind of plush looking lashes, which is perfect for this look, because Bella definitely didn't have, she's not a fake eyelash kind of person, I don't think, and while her lashes looked natural, they definitely look very full as well, so. And that's it for the eyes, so I'm just gonna do the other eye, and then I will be right back to finish off with the lips. Okay, so to finish off the look, I'm just going to apply a little bit of lip product. And it took me ages to work out kind of what I wanted to use for the lips. But I decided on a combination of a tiny, tiny bit of new CID's Belle, appropriately named, um, lipstick, which is an almost kind of slightly metallic rosy pink colour. And this is actually quite dark. So I'm just going to pat on a tiny, tiny bit using my finger just to get a little bit of colour into the lips. And then I'm going to be using a little bit of NARS Super Orgasm Lip Gloss. And this is actually quite glittery, so I'm only going to use a very, very small amount. And I'm just going to put that on with my finger as well. 
So the very, very final step just to finish off my makeup is going to be to apply a makeup finishing spray. I'm going to be using Scandinavia's Dry Skin Formula Makeup Setting Spray. And if you haven't used one of these before, they're basically, instead of using powder, to set your makeup, it'll make it last all day and just generally looks amazing. Mine's actually really beaten up and almost empty because I use it pretty much every single day whenever I wear foundation. And these have apparently been around for a very, very long time, kind of in Hollywood on film sets and stuff, but they've only really just broken through into the mainstream kind of makeup world. So you need to give it a good shake first and then spray it directly onto your face, maybe like three or four sprays. And that will just keep your makeup looking fresh and nice all day. It actually works on your eyeshadow, your blush, everything as well. So it's really, really good. And you can use it as a kind of refreshing spray throughout the day as well, which I love. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you'd like to see next, because I definitely want to film a kind of Christmassy tutorial. Um, and I know I've been getting a lot of requests to do more tutorials because I'm quite lazy with them and I haven't been doing any recently. So I hope you all enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're doing any Christmas shopping in the next few weeks, make sure you check out my Christmas Christmas gift guide videos which I'll put a link here to the first one which is out already um, and it might help you on any kind of ideas for Christmas shopping so I hope you all enjoy this and I'll see you soon bye